grew up in a cabinet shop in the edge of Warren County, and so I had this great place to grow up and, and always had a project going. It was on a little farm, and so I uh, uh, never thought of, of woodworking as anything but just what I did. You know, it, was, it, wasn't a, it wasn't even a hobby, it's just what I did. When I came home from school, I, I went to the shop. And so um, uh, then I went, went to California to go to college. Uh, life led me back to Bowling Green to play music and to earn money to support the band. I uh, opened up a little shop to just do whatever. Uh, that was 10 years ago. In uh, 2004, I read a book and uh, completely changed my outlook on the furniture making process. And, and that's when I started uh, the way I build furniture now. And, and so that, that's how I became a professional woodworker. Uh, it, uh, it just kind of happened, it's, it's what I do. Just thinking about that everything you produce is an opportunity to do something extraordinary, or at least try to, uh, that's what made me realize that, that I had all these ideas floating around in my head of things to build, and if I just took the time and slowed down, I could produce them. Sometimes I look at something and see what it needs to be. What I can do just naturally in my head is I can see everything that's behind that front uh, one-dimensional view. And, and so I know what needs to be done to get out to the front. Because a piece of furniture, you know, sometimes you start building it from the back and work your way forward. So uh, you know, I, I kind of specialize in building furniture that looks very simple but can be really complicated to build. Um, there's other times uh, there is a, uh, there's a small table uh, here at the Joe Downing Museum that started as a, uh, as a cedar root that washed up in the creek that runs through our farm. And so when we very first purchased our property, I saw that root in the brush pile. I pulled it out and took it up to my shop and uh, I let it sit and dry and do all the things it needed to do. I knew it needed to be a table someday and then uh, uh, the opportunity came and, and so it, it became a table. And you know, furniture is available everywhere. Um, but to me, furniture is not about, it's not about needing a place to sit down. You know, they could sit anywhere. But if I'm able to add a, a, a chair to their living room or their study that feeds their soul in some way and makes them happy when they come home from work, then I think that's why people ask me to do things. And that's, that's important to me. I, I want my furniture to have a good home. Uh, there, there are certainly, uh, uh, if someone comes to me and uh, has a pocket full of money but, but doesn't care about the work, I'm not very excited to work for them. Uh, it, it, the furniture has to go to a good home because I'm, I'm pouring my heart and soul in. You know, I'll work my whole life and may not produce a few hundred pieces of furniture, so I want them to be in good places. Over the last few years, an important part of my work has been in partnership with the Joe Downing Museum. Not only the, the large benches that are in the two galleries, but other pieces that are, that are on the site. Over the course of um, the Downing Museum being constructed, there was also a, a documentary produced about Mr. Downing and uh, the documentary won an Emmy. Well, the museum needed an Emmy stand and uh, I guess you can't just go out and buy Emmy stands. So I was asked to come up with something. So the stand is made of walnut. It is a, a helical bend of three legs that come up to a, a, a small tabletop that holds the award and then has a, a glass dome over the top of the award. And that entire process was, I think, very important to my shop because it showed me a whole new way to, uh, to work with the lumber, a whole new way that I could bend things, uh, and, and I was able to get out of the two-dimensional bending box that I'd been in and kind of enter into a new realm that's pretty complicated of, um, of bending wood in three dimensions and, and working uh, with very smooth flowing curves 
that uh, when you build a piece of furniture out of them, as you walk around the furniture, it, it constantly changes because of the, the different angles that the wood gives. Well, the phone keeps ringing, so I keep building. You know, that uh, uh, I think it takes a lot of faith and something to be a, uh, a professional artist, whatever your art is. You, know, you have to have a good deal of confidence in your work. You have to know your work's good, and you have to be good at it. But over the last uh, two or three years, there's been a steady stream of work, and it doesn't seem to be declining at all. So I just look to, um, to have commissions that are larger, uh, multiple pieces of furniture for the same home. And um, you know, I, I have no plans to change careers. I would like to add teaching into what I do and I'll be able to pass on what I've been able to learn. But the, um, the furniture making will just keep growing and I hope, I hope my, my skills keep getting better and, and that my designs keep evolving. And um, there's, uh, it's, it's been 10 years and I feel like I just started yesterday. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just ready to keep doing what I do. Thank you.